Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland here in sunny Miami, Florida for Metro Connect USA 2022. Joining me today is Jason Atkins, the CEO of Unite Private Networks. Welcome back to JSA TV. Thanks for having me. So you were recently appointed CEO of UPN, Unite Private Networks, but you've been a leader there for almost a decade. So how's the ride been so far being CEO now? It's been great. You know, we have an awesome team there. So uh, just kind of naturally ascending to the uh, actual CEO's role after Kevin Anderson, our founder, retired. Uh, you know, it's been in the works for a while and, and it's great. Again, we've got an awesome team, so so no issues and, and everything's running very smoothly. I haven't messed it up yet. so. <laughs> Perfect. And you won't either. Well, lots of news coming out of UPN. Uh, expansions in, in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, Rockford, Illinois. Um, I'm just making sure I get those correct because you've got multiple expansions that were underway. Tell us an update, if you could, about those expansions and, and what's happening with those. Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, you know, for many years have been doing a lot of various anchor deals, uh, wireless carriers, schools, other things. So we sort of have a collection of markets that we may have had for several years, but we haven't been actively really looking at enterprise business there. So every year we pick a couple of markets to launch. Uh, little Rock's been in our uh, repertoire for a little while. Rockford's fairly new. Um, we put those into our carrier on net list, near net list, and, and then start selling enterprise services there. We feel they're great markets, underserved, and you'll continue to see us do many of those. We're looking at a bunch of stuff in Texas and sort of all over the Midwest. When can we start to see some of those other expansions come through? 2022 or what's your timeline? We'll probably announce a few others in 22 and then kind of each year we have a, have a couple we bring out. Uh, and most of these are organic expansions. Uh, you know, we've done some inorganic things in the past, but uh, right now we have really good growth with organic stuff that we control ourselves and, and that's the best way to do it, we think. Wonderful. So you're here at Metro Connect uh, talking with a lot of industry leaders here. What are some of the hot topics or, or maybe some of the topics that you're watching closely in the trends in the data center industry? Yeah, you know, obviously the, the industry itself has really good tailwinds, right? Uh, you know, the pandemic proved out communications are very important. A lot of things moving to the cloud, people working from home. So, uh, you know, we're, we're a fairly simple business. We, we offer big connectivity and fiber. Um, you know, there's some interesting trends and various things going on. But, you know, right now it's just execution. Uh, we're all worried about prices rising. It's hard to get equipment these days. So there's a lot of things out there as operators we really have to kind of you know look at and figure out but it's all things we've done before and, and again at the end of the day it's a product that people want to buy so I think all of us here at this show uh, you know feel very good about the industry we're in. Sounds great so there is more to come definitely from UPN this year and beyond so stay tuned to the latest developments where can our viewers go to learn more about those developments? Uh, they can hit our website uniteprivatenetworks.com uh, our maps and uh, all the info are up there and we'd be happy to uh, work with anybody that's sort of in our region. So, Well thank you very much Jason for joining us thanks for joining us here on JSA TV. Thanks for having me. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. Happy networking.